Okay. What I wanted to do in this next video is just show a little bit of how I set up my workspace for what we'll be doing, which will be um, uh, texture swaps or they're kind of like mat swaps for thing games that we're used to modding, like the all the different Bethesda games. Basically changing how an object in the world looks, okay? And so the way that I wanted to do that, if this mouse scroll button works, there we go, is I just wanted to show you a little bit about like how I would set up the modding environment, okay? So uh, the first things first, what I'm going to do is, wow, this window's conveniently open. Let's reopen it, okay? I'm going to find where the vanilla archives for the game are stored. So I'm going to go to my God Galaxy, which is where I installed it, game Cyberpunk 2077. However you install it, you should be able to get to a folder like this, okay? Then I'm going to click on Archive, PC, and then if there isn't a patch folder, I want to create one, and then Content folder should exist or you don't have the game installed, and these are all the vanilla archives with information in them about the game. Okay, cool. Let's move it over to the right, okay? Then what I would do is I have installed my CP77 tools in my C drive. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of open that, show you. And so this is just a tool that I'm going to have hanging around in order to open these archives and to make new archives. Right? And so I'll just slap that up there. Okay. Now I need a place where I'm going to work. And so on my desktop or anywhere that you like, all right, I'm going to create a new folder. All right. And let's go ahead and just call it well, CP2077 modding. Okay. And I'm going to open that up and I'm going to create several subdirectories inside of this. Okay. Uh, the first one, I'm going to call it extracts. Because they're vanilla extracts. This is where I'm going to be opening up these archives. I'm going to be targeting that folder to put stuff into. Okay. Uh, new folder. Now, this is where I'm going to go and... Um, my mods. And so this is where like my work is going to be going into like where I'm going to be saving my stuff and editing files will all be in directories in my mods. And then finally, I usually create another folder example mods. And so this is going to be where I find something on like, let's say Nexus or the official GOG site or what have you. And I download it and I will extract information into there in order to get a feel for like what I want. Okay, so that's just my setup. Again, uh, another short little video. We're going to be doing two or three more videos here, okay? I want them nice and short, bite size, okay? In the next one, I will kind of show you how I can go about finding hints on what files I need and what I need to do to them, okay? We'll see you soon.